In 1991, the Customs and Excise Division contributed some $1.9 billion to the national coffers. This year's collection amounted to $856 million, a revenue earner second only to oil. When Customs allowed our camera crew into Shed 2, which holds some $30 million worth of seized goods, we certainly did not expect thousands of seized second-hand American tires, stacked high for 300 yards. They are money spending illegal trade with a landed value of $40 and a going rate of $175. There are also garments, oil, electronics, cosmetics and other rotting goods in the shed. Outside, another $60 million worth of seized goods, still in containers, containing mostly tires. There are also seized cars, some vegetating since 1986. But $90 million worth of apprehended goods has not stopped rumor and now confirmation that customs officials are involved in an illegal racket which could be robbing the country of millions in revenue. These matters are investigated from time to time, as they occur. Can I ask you what kinds of allegations are the most common? No, that there is collusion probably between our officers and maybe unscrupulous importers from time to time. There is some uh, strong um, current that suggests that the, the, the customs uh, officers and guards and so on have been, uh, you know, less than honest. There is corruption in customs, this is in all, all of the departments, but we have not been able to prove many of these things. There have been allegations which we have investigated, but I tell you the scope of a customs officer is so wide. It's difficult to prove whether an officer has done something intentionally or because of lack of knowledge. Which comes first, the chicken or the egg? You know, is it that because we have, uh, or allegedly have corrupt customs officers that we have corrupt businessmen? Or is it because we have corrupt businessmen, we have cor corrupt customs officers? There are many ways. The most popular one is called switching. Somewhere along the line, they switch this container that come in the docks, which may have tires, with a container of oats they have imported a few weeks before. The switching is done, it goes to the people's premises, and they will have access to the container most likely. It is here, Shed 10, at the Port of Spain port, where some of the scores of containers that enter this country every day are unstuffed, checked, and passed. But increasingly, containers are being checked at the premises of importers for two reasons. A shortage of custom staff, now 339 instead of the required 462 customs officials, and 42 intelligence guards short of the required 242 all dealing with some 250 containers that enter the three ports every day. So officers work overtime after four on the property of importers. The second reason is importers are now increasingly requesting the service, paving the way for corruption. <laughs> As a container, you have something and an officer come to examine. And somehow he's able to reach him. This is a department that is run on trust. Most of our officers operate singly or jointly, are scattered all over the country at various outposts. And many times they're alone, and an officer has to make several important decisions. I'm not saying, now that you have increased the manpower, this, this um, discrepancies cannot take place. I'm not saying that at all. But at least it will minimize the, the, the risk. Other illegal activities include concealing goods, under-invoicing, false declaration of goods and careless examinations at the port. Right now there's no need really to smuggle anything because of the removal of the negative list. So really the, 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 the so-called bribes and everything that were used to encourage customs officers to close, up, to close their eyes is, is no longer necessary. And the finance minister, Wendell Motley, has given assurances that by the end of the year, customs will be reorganized. All goods will be stripped on entry. But the popular solution still lies in increasing manpower. As for these tired tires, they will gradually be sold 
left-hand cars or what's left of them will be permitted under specific rules and legislative change to videoed evidence will not require that goods are kept for long dragging court matters. It's, it's a shame that so much people have been getting away with it and nobody's being, nobody's being penalized very seriously for it as to act as a deterrent to, to other people doing it. And while the country waits for the new customs laws to be put into place, there's no telling how many millions of dollars will be lost through illegal activities. Ira Martha, TV6 News, with a special report, all clear at customs.